Boys, I'm running a cold, so everything's gonna sound a bit off. But we need to cover something. It's probably old news by now, but we're gonna cover it anyways because Bungie actually showed us a slight bit of gunplay. So first up, Ginzer was the first one to reveal this weapon through the database. Matter of fact, when I go look right now in Light GG, I don't believe it shows up. So no, it's not even in Light GG, which means that Ginzer had to go in the Matrix to find this bad baby. Regardless though, it's another trace rifle. And if you're like me, you're not that excited about it. I mean, we already have a number of trace rifles. I mean, we don't have a ton of them, but I don't really use them that much outside of Divinity. But this one, well, it may pique your interest a little differently. First up, it's called Ruinous Effigy. Dude, that effigy word when I was a kid used to mess with me so much. I remember playing a video game where you had to collect effigies and I would just run around calling it effigies. Be like, hey, y'all see those effigies over there? We gotta get them. But this trace rifle, which does look very unique, art style especially, to me it looks high theme right like almost car from a bone of a high or maybe a ham car i don't know ham car but it states underneath it from the many wings of ruin blows a wind that will reshape the dead world ah okay okay you know hearing that description from the many wings of ruin immediately what do we think of guys i think of ruin wings the exotic goblins from destiny one for titans i'm just saying bungie's real big about their play on words the fact that they chose those words from the many wings of ruin Sure, it could be just lore, but the fact that they throw those two in there together makes me think, guys, we may get Ruined Wings back inside of Destiny 2. Now, I didn't really care for them inside of Destiny 1. They just essentially improved the drop rate of Heavy. It also contained more ammo with each drop. Yes, it had some benefits, but at the same time, it was a passive one. It wasn't a very exciting exotic, right? And we're like in pure speculation land here, but to me, that is a hell of a hint. Now, Ruinous... It's also an energy weapon on top of that, and it comes with the exotic perk Transmutation. Final blows of this weapon collapses the victims into a void transmutation sphere. Now the trait on this thing states that the transmutation sphere that you create can now be picked up and wielded as a weapon by you and your allies. Now it has a number of attacks here, it has a light attack, a heavy attack, also a guard and drain nearby combatant attack. Sounds like a sword, but it's a sphere. Bungie dropped the trailer yesterday for Season of Arrivals, showing the new exotic quest for Ruinous Effigy, and we got to see it in action. Kills a thrall, does a little collapse thing there, drops the sphere, he proceeds to pick it up, and what appears to be a heavy attack, or that heavy slam with the sphere, wipes out that oak. Now, I don't know how much damage that is exactly. Also, two things are occurring. You have to be pretty close in proximity to your enemy to do any of these attacks. So what's the trade-off here? It's got to be pretty good, right? Now, Ginzer actually has some gameplay as well. Just briefly showing it, gunning down some Cabal, but nothing else outside of that. There's also going to be an ornament for the new weapon, as well as an exotic catalyst. Which, looking at the exotic catalyst, I'm not sure what it does. What we do know is that it states that defeat combatants using the weapon or those transmutation spheres, or destroy eyes of Savathun to unlock this upgrade. Now you've probably seen those eyes around, yeah. They're called eyes of Savathun here, but I could have swore they were just eyes of the nine. I mean, when you look at the nine, look at their eyes. Then look at those things around the planets, right? It looks just like them. If I would have plucked one of their eyeballs out, blew it up on Photoshop, that's hands down what it would look like. Now, the other feature I'm curious about with Ruinous is the guard feature, right? You can guard with this weapon, also drain nearby combatants, and I wonder what that means exactly. Draining. Are we actually pulling the life force from our victims while we are guarding? Very interesting. And how close can we get? And can it serve as a tank function in any kind of way for our teammates? All these things we really won't know until we're actually playing with the weapon. Regardless, though, it's speculated that week five, Ruinous Effigy, will become a trace rifle we can obtain. Stat-wise, how this weapon compares against some of our other trace rifles, kind of interesting. It's got higher impact, shows it at eight instead of six. Divinity, Cold Heart, Wave Splitter, Prometheus Lens all have an impact of six there. So it's kind of interesting that we may actually have a new archetype of trace rifle here, but I don't know if this is a typo or not because it's still showing a thousand rounds per minute, but at eight impact. So it's going to be hitting a little bit harder if this is actually going to be a new trace rifle archetype, which means for those moments when you just need to gun down something to drop those void transportation spheres, that's going to be the big one.
So guys, that is our breakdown or our pre-breakdown to this exotic. We're like two, three weeks away from even seeing this thing, but I wanted to go ahead and cover it now as it is news, man. And I'm always down for unique, cool weapons, right? This was very unique. We haven't seen something like this from a trace rifle. Matter of fact, outside of Divinity, I kind of thought Bungie was like giving up on trace rifles. We just don't have many of them. A lot of people have looked away from them because they take special ammo. They also have a worse time to kill inside of PVP than six in a round per minute auto rifles. So yeah, I don't know. I will say though, if Ruinous here stays at eight impact, but a thousand rounds per minute, you could be looking at a trace rifle somewhere between a 0.6 to 0.7 time to kill value. Granted, it's still probably not worth the trade off, but depending on those void transportation spheres, who knows? This may be a weapon that's both versatile in both PVE and PVP. Well, fellas and ladies, let me know in the comments below what you think. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. <laughs>